Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 7 of the second season of How Not to Summon a Demon Lord today. And it was uh, quite impressive to see what um, Diablo and the others were able to do against um, Varrockness and um, that whole army of the Fallen. I was honestly not expecting it uh, um, to be so easy. I was uh, thinking that uh, uh, they would, um, like... It would take uh, a lot more for them uh, to be able to win um, against them. Um, but yeah, once uh, Diablo and uh, the others showed up, they completely changed, um, like turned the tide of um, this fight. Because uh, before, uh, the Fallen were actually having the upper end. So that was uh, definitely really awesome to see. And then there was also that really uh, wholesome moment between uh, Diablo um, and Horn. I, and I just really loved it. I mean, she, she didn't... Um, feel like uh, she belonged there or something like she she didn't um, like i don't know how exactly to put it uh, of course she wanted to be with them but it's like uh, she didn't seem like she was worthy of it or something like that maybe i'm a bit wrong about it it's just um, how it made me feel but uh, either way it, it was just great to see diablo saying those things and making her feel like um, she could stay if she wanted like no one was going to tell her uh, to leave so definitely really nice to see that and um, hopefully she will t uh, she will stick uh, with um, this group also wondering about uh, rose if uh, she's also going to stay with them or if she's going to return to that dungeon if uh, like her go going uh, out of the dungeon was just um, this one thing or not um but yeah hopefully they will all stick together because it's uh, like the more the merrier right it's uh, it's always fun to see a lot of these guys uh, having uh, some great moments um, uh, together um and yeah looking forward to see what is going to happen during uh, these uh, next moments so hope you guys are ready and let's start this episode Oh my god, he's dressed though. Man, she's really hot, that's for sure. <laughs> what the start already. My god. <laughs> How can you even resist that? Ooh. Well, he's about to lend his power to Funnies from the looks of it. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> A show of hospitality. Man. <laughs> I'm jelly. <laughs> My god. This is really loot. Not that it's like a surprise, but still something. Oh my god, she's... Of course she will remove it. Oh. <laughs> really? I guess he would just have an art attack if that happened. It's completely understandable. <laughs> Man, this start was already something. And again, it's not that big of a surprise to see moments like this, but... It's still... Uh, quite something to see when they happen. But it looks like... um. Lumakina is um, thinking about returning to the um, royal city, like to, to the royal palace. I can't remember the exact term that she said before. 
But that's actually quite brave of her, considering what they're trying to do to her. But with Diablo, it could be good. They could, like, um, get rid of this bad side of the church, or so to say. Because she's not the one in the wrong here. She just tried to meddle too much with those guys. The more like greedy ones. Man, this final frame is really nice. I'm guessing they're really going to stick together. Ooh. Hmm. I really like her, she's... Oh my god. She's so kind. Always trying to do... The right thing. Oh, there's Emil! <laughs> he's... He's back. Yeah, we know who you are. And now there's... Two more. Actually, three. He never saw Lumakina, Orn, or Rose, right? Not too sure. <laughs> Sword training. They kind of doubled, <laughs> like more than doubled. Oh. oh damn, she's working there. I guess she bakes some and eats a couple of those. <laughs> Meanwhile. Wait, what is that? Holy... Is she making potions or something? Oh damn, this dress though. Okay, she looks really cute. <laughs> okay then. All to show how bouncy they are. <laughs> They're so cute. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> so adorable. There's Clem. <laughs> She's like a professional biscuit eater. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, you need to chill. <laughs> Holy. 
<laughs> I mean, when he puts it like that. The hero? <laughs> well... It was the royal capital. I was wrong in both. Ooh. Hmm. Not presents. Wonder. Oh, it's her. I believe she was like Sellers, the nickname. Man, it's impossible to not look <laughs> at that Opie. It's so, so big. Like she's competing with Shara. Or bullies. <laughs> yeah, those guys need... Man, they're really going wild with this. The bouncing. Ooh. Oh no. Okay, that's really bad. That's not good for those. Holy. She going to be stopped or... And out they go. <laughs> Never mess with clams cook biscuits, not cookies. I guess it's like similar. <laughs> Man, this changed though, out of nowhere. <laughs> She's really adorable. Oh. Hmm. Can imagine. They're going to deal with them. Or at least it's like Clem's priority now. That's the boss. Hmm. Wait, is that the place already? They're about to make a move already. Well, yeah. Can't they have it's like magical guns or something? They shoot magical bullets. Hmm. Yeah, they need to be careful about this, how they Oh my god. Yeah, these girls really need to chill. 
They don't want to go overboard. I mean... <laughs> oh, he's doing a Megumin. That works. <laughs> yeah. Probably better if you just sit back and <laughs> let him do it. Oh, he's here. Wait, that's not it, right? Scarface, <laughs> that's his name. But yeah, that's not the boss. It's just like a mini boss or something. <laughs> <laughs> Man, their voice. So cute. Ooh. Okay, that was really low. <laughs> it was effective, but... Yeah, that was... <laughs> quite harsh. To actually eat him there. As a man, I know the pain. <laughs> yeah, sure. He's more like taking care of his own balls right now. <laughs> oh my. Who are those? <laughs> the way she makes her entrance. Like a... <laughs> like a dog. Yep. Shouldn't have messed with... Her biscuits. <laughs> it's like so funny how... Why this is happening, like the reason behind this. It's all because of the biscuits. Oh my god. Wait, that they actually eat him? Wait, graze his head. Holy. Hmm. <laughs> That's not it. Hmm. Man, they're really scary when they want. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and there they go again. Ooh. Hey, she's learning. What are they going to make him do, though? <laughs> Hi. Holy... <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's... <laughs> what does... What was that love? I don't think I've ever heard her doing that. Ooh. 
Who's that? Oh, it's this guy, Galford. He's here. Hmm. <laughs> I love when he gets in character. Hmm. Is he aware of her being? These. Apparently. Yeah, that doesn't sound that great either, though. Damn. Going back to... a situation involving this guy. Oh, damn, that's nice. They're finally going to leave them alone, like, not do those arse things. And Gar Galford is watching this, so maybe it will make him change his mind. Oh, and she's also saying this. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, I swear, these angles they use. Oh, that's the thing from before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I love cat girls. They're just so adorable. Oh. There's a big party going on in the in the city now because of what they did. Too sure. Actually, need to go back. And that's good. He's not going to go with that anymore, like what he wanted to do with Clem. She's safe. Now they're going for. The church. Like the royal capital. Seven wall. Ooh. Who's this? What is that? Damn! Some sort of a creature, but I have no idea which one. But yeah, it's fairly easy to, to see that these are the baddies. Going to have to deal with them. But man, this was such an entertaining episode. I can't believe that all of this was happening because 
of what happened with um, Flames Biscuits. But it ended up being really good. Like, those guys were being a pain in the ass in this place, making things harder for, for people here. So it ended up being really helpful for, for them and their business. They don't need to worry about them anymore. But yeah, Diablo always needs to to keep them at check or something, like to to prevent them from going too wild because they're always thinking about murdering someone. Yeah, that was really nice, and now it's going to be about what will happen at the Royal City, most likely, so... Right... I couldn't help but see a bit... Oh damn, oh my god, is that... Is that Edelgard on the right? Man, <laughs> I swear, these frames are really, really good. Also, something that um, I can't remember, I know that they give credit to the one who made the um, illustration, um, but uh, I'm guessing that it's always um, a different one, right? I don't know if it's always the same uh, illustrator or if they're picking uh, um, some different ones. I mean, it would make uh, it would be more fair, I guess, if they showcased uh, uh, many of these uh, illustrators because they're like, like just really good at what they do. Um, but um, as uh, I was about to say before, um, I couldn't help but. Um, Notice this one frame during uh, the preview. So there was um, apparently Alicia showing up. So this reminded me of um, how things ended up during um, the first season. So how she was uh, uh, like uh, becoming a better person and uh, she decided to start doing uh, um, the right thing. Um, and um, if I remember right, she was also returning to um, the royal capital. So just like they showed um, during uh, the preview, I'm expecting her to um, to appear during these next episodes, and it makes me um, it makes me really happy because I want to see um, how she's uh, been doing. Um, but yeah, just uh, really happy about um, this episode. It was really entertaining to watch um, all of these uh, uh, moments and quite crazy how all of these things uh, happened because of um, that one biscuit uh, being um, like broken to pieces. Um, but yeah, it ended up being um, really good because um, with um, what they did afterwards dealing with those other guys, they ended up making um, things better um, at this um, at this city, and now this uh, business uh, is um, like at least they don't need to deal with um, any more problems like this, with these guys showing up and uh, demanding money for their random things. So that ended up being really nice, and um, it was good because. By them saying um, this, like those girls uh, showing up uh, and mentioning um, everything that they accomplished uh, with their actions, uh, it made um, Galford um, like rethink about uh, his decision and made him uh, like decide to not um, to not take claim or anything. So that was uh, that was like even better. This was just um, a really just really good for um, all um, of them. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to see what exactly will happen during um, this uh, during this situation at the royal capital. I'm I'm always expecting things to be a bit tricky, but then again, um, usually Diablo just uh, deals with things uh, quite fast, and it doesn't uh, take him too much effort uh, to like get rid of this guy. So. I don't know what um, uh, will happen, if it's like going to be hard or not. Um, but yeah, it's uh, something to, um, to find out about during the next episodes, that's for sure. Uh, but there was also something that I wanted to check. I said during the episode that I wanted to go back to, to see it, to make sure I wasn't uh, like wrong about it. And uh, I don't even know if, um, if I'm going to be right about it now or not, but while they were showing um, this party happening uh, outside, there was like this guy singing and stuff. I'm not too sure if that was actually 
business many displays like someone some of the people who were really happy that um, those guys were gone and their business is now um like safe in a way um or if it was um, some of the some of the bad guys and they like made them uh, do this i'm not too sure i kind of think it's the um, the former but uh, it crossed my mind because they were talking about making um, their boss uh, like do good things so this could be like part of it or something like that um but yeah my guess is that it's probably not that it's it was just like like actual uh, business people uh, being happy about what happened um but yeah either way if i'm wrong about any of these i would appreciate if you guys also said something about um about it and what you thought about uh, this whole episode like it was it was really wild that's for sure and once again they just keep um, like showing a whole lot of this uh, hope i bouncing it's like they want to show uh, these physics uh, like really badly um and yeah it's not like uh, i mind of course it's always uh, like entertaining to watch um those moments uh, as well and uh, the start of the episode was uh, was definitely something with the uh, funnies like giving this um, I don't know how exactly she called it but it it was like um, sort of a ceremony like uh, she wanted to welcome um, uh, Diablo so that was uh, quite something and it just uh, couldn't uh, like handle it so it just ran away um but yeah again just another entertain entertaining episode and really can't wait to see what is going to happen during um, the next ones so with this hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and you can also join my discord and my patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one